Hey y'all, welcome back to 2096 and this is our first official cash envelope stuffing video and I'm super excited to share with you guys how I do it. The video is going to pause in a few seconds but it only lasts 30 seconds so push through with me y'all. So this pay period I am budgeting uh, $700. That is not my entire paycheck. I've already put some money to the side, but $700 is what we're using for our cash envelopes. And this part of the clip was actually me unstuffing my yellow cash envelope holder. Um, so we're just going to skip over that and unstuff my wallet. I had um, a good bit of money in my wallet because I had just done a shop around day. So I pulled money from different categories in my envelopes and put it into my wallet because I was only walking around with my wallet that day. I make this cash envelope thing work for me how I need it to. So that day walking around with that yellow folder just wasn't it. <laughs> So now let's get into actually stuffing these guys. So my first three envelopes are my credits, my debts, credit cards, however you want to list them. Um, each section got $20 this pay period to add to the monthly payment for February or for March. Sorry, I already paid them for February. This is just kind of preparing me for next month. I try to stay ahead that way. Gasoline is getting $80 this paycheck. So we're going to go ahead and drop that in there. I drive a Honda, so she's good on gas. Groceries is going to get $60. I had just done a pretty decent size uh, grocery trip the last visit. So got $60 going in there. I'd had no real plans on going out this pay period. So I only gave myself $30. And eating out, I gave myself 45. I typically will grab something to eat on my lunch break, maybe like twice a week. So I like to have some extra money in that section. Self-care got $15. I do my nails and stuff like that at my house. So that's typically just to re-up on products. Miscellaneous, I like to give myself 25 $1 bills every pay period just so that if I'm ever low in another area, I can pull from miscellaneous, grab a couple singles, and move it towards what I need. Kingston is my puppy. He's a big boy, but he's still my puppy. He's getting $40 this pay period. Good gas. If you know, you know. If you don't, you don't. We're not putting no money in there though. And 2096 got 20 bucks for me this pay period. Which worked out because I ended up using that 20 bucks to buy a tripod that I really needed. It was at the flea market, y'all. So you can see I am taking out my debt envelopes because I have a couple more that I like to put in that section. My phone bill and my car insurance go with these. And my phone bill is getting $65 this pay period. And my car insurance is going to get $120 this paycheck. My new saving challenge is to automatically put aside 20% of my budgeted amount so that I can build a second savings account separate from the one that my direct deposit goes into. So this time I'm putting $140 in there. Yeah, we're trying to have a whole bunch of, you know, we're just trying to make sure we're straight. You never know what the world is going to gonna do to you. So I had to pay $20.96, $40 this go round because I made a sale and um, after shipping, $40 was what I owed myself. Next, we are going to work on our coins, y'all. So we are starting out with $20.28. And while I drop these coins in the piggy bank, I'm going to tell y'all why I really love this machine. At first, I was doing everything by hand. I was counting them by hand. I was rolling them by hand, all that good stuff. Then one day I went to Walmart and I was like, there has to be an easier way. So I found this little money counter piggy bank, which is top tier. And what I do is I just fill it up, fill it up. And then typically I'll select an occasion. And once that occasion gets close, I take the coin jar to the bank and let them do the rolling and counting and changing out for me, making it big bills. Um, or I do have some of those coin rollers myself. So sometimes I will go through and hand roll them. But typically I ain't got time for all of that. Y'all, I'm not even gonna lie to you. 
So this pay period, we ended up saving, I think it was $4 and let me check my notes, $4.57 in coins is what we saved, which is always bomb because, you know, coins be adding up. $4.57 in two weeks and that's not the only way I saved. Please play with somebody else. <laughs> So next up, we are going to break down these bills that I put to the side, just separating them by denomination so that I can know what I'm really working with. Um, I had some 20s, 10s, 5s, and 1s. What I decided to do with the 20s was to put $20 in gas and $20 in groceries because um, just in case, like, you know, those were two sections that I felt like could have a little bit of extra money in them. So went ahead and put those over there. So now I'm just working with the tens, the fives, and the ones. So I drew out these two savings challenges. I have a Tetris challenge that's going to help me save $765. And then I have Saveopoly. Um, it has all of the things that a regular Monopoly board has, chance, um, tax, community chest, things like that. When you land on tax, if you roll an even or an odd, there's a rule for it. And same thing with chance. If you roll an even or an odd, there's a rule for it. So I took $20 and went ahead and did my Tetris saving challenge. And at first I was debating if I was going to just fill in one $20 block or two $10 blocks. But as you can see, I decided to do two $10 blocks just for the aesthetic, trying to fill in these blanks as quickly as I can. I don't have a dice, so we're going to use this website that I found. And my first roll was a five, which landed me on a $2 slot. My second roll was, oh, before I roll again, I'm going to just note how much I saved. My second roll was a six, which landed me on another $2 spot. <laughs> and then my next roll was a two, but I had made a mistake. I thought I landed on that utility spot. So I was trying to follow the rule of rolling again. And because I rolled um, an odd number, I had to double what I put in. So I ended up saving $18, even though I was really only meant to save the nine, but that's cool with me. Next up is my 100 envelope saving challenge, y'all. This is to help you save, I believe it's like $1,000 in a year, or it might even be like $1,010 or something like that. I can't remember, but if you search 1,000 envelope, 100 envelope challenge, you'll see it um, all over the internet. So we had $18 to stuff. So I put 13 in the 13 envelope and I put five in the $5 envelope. And that concludes today's cash envelope stuffing video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please comment, like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Peace.